Hey everyone, Caffey Man here, and today we are going over a relatively new drink, or at least I think it's relatively new. It might be a couple months old, maybe a year old, not quite sure, but it's called Rebel. Did he just say Red Bull? No, 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 I said Rebel. Technically, it's called Blue Rebel, which makes it slightly easier to not get confused with Red Bull, but it's a close call. This energy drink is actually made by the Dutch Brothers, and it's coming right up. Hello again everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. If you want to stay informed on all things caffeine related, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I post new videos every Tuesday night and one on the weekends. And if you'd like to show more support for the channel, I do have a Patreon account. Feel free to check out the link down below or just go to patreon.com and do a search for Caffeine Man. You can get early access to my videos and tiers start for as little as $1. And in today's video, we're going over the Dutch Brothers Blue Rebel. But first off, we ought to give a huge shout out to Isaac. Isaac is from the sunny state of Arizona, the, the very hot state of Arizona. Very dry state of Arizona. Is it? It's hot, but it's a dry heat. Woo. But thank you to Isaac because he sent me these drinks to review because there aren't any Dutch Brothers near me. But he sent them to me because it's one of his favorite energy drinks and he wanted to get my opinion on it. And I've actually had these drinks for several weeks now, maybe even like over a month or two because there have been so many other new energy drinks that have come out. I could just look through my channel to see all of them. But I wanted to slip this one in there because Isaac was kind enough to send it to me. So thank you to Isaac. So what are we gonna be going over in this video? I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the company, very little bit about the ingredients, and then do a taste test. Timestamps and chapters down below so you can go where you wanna go. And then speaking about the sunny state of Arizona, where can you actually find these drinks? Well, this drink was actually created by Dutch Brothers, and you can only find them there, and they're only on the West Coast. They have about 200 locations throughout Oregon, California, Washington, Idaho, Nevada, Colorado, and Isaac State, Arizona. Therefore, this review is kind of for my West Coast fans. Can you guys see what I did there? If you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I already did a video on an East Coast store. But I want to try and be fair for you guys. All you West Coasters are mad that you can't get these East Coast drinks. Here's a review on a West Coast drink for you. All you East Coasters. Eh, you got G Fuel from Sheets. And truth be told, I did actually have a couple of requests for this drink. And when I actually looked it up, this is what I found when I looked it up. And that's just a few of them. There's like 40 different flavors that they have for the energy drinks. How am I supposed to get that shipped to me? So whenever people requested the Rebel from Dutch Brothers, I said, I can't get that. The stores aren't anywhere near me. Eventually, Isaac contacted me and said, listen, they come in cans. That's the ones we're talking about. So I tried to look it up and eventually I found the cans and I said, oh, that sounds actually pretty interesting. So when he offered to send them to me, I agreed. But for all of you who aren't on the West Coast, don't know what Dutch Brothers is, Dutch Brothers is the country's largest privately held drive through coffee company. It was founded in Southern Oregon in 1992 by brothers Dane and Travis. As their business grew, they just kept expanding, expanding, expanding throughout the West Coast. Now, my biggest question is, is this going to be a generic energy drink? And is it going to be a private label energy drink? I'd like to think that Dutch Brothers had a strong hand in coming up with this drink on their own. So why would they go third party with it? But I'm not really sure if they're an energy drink company. They're a coffee company that sells lots of other stuff. But from what I could tell, the bottling company is actually a professional bottling company. But where the energy drink is actually being made, not too sure of because I couldn't find that information. I do have a good feeling about it, but, but when we get to the ingredients, the ingredients are going to scream generic energy drink. And that list is right here. My goodness. That is what you call all the ingredients of a generic energy drink. Or, or, or a standard energy drink. As for all the numbers, they have all the numbers of your standard energy drink. The 8 ounce can has 26 grams of sugar in it, plus your B vitamins. And, and you know what? Why don't we just go ahead and let's taste it out because going over the ingredients and nutrition facts panel, listen, that is your standard energy drink stuff. And hopefully it is a standard energy drink. Some people ask me what the difference is between standard energy drink and generic energy drink. And I don't think there's an official difference. It's just a difference that I make between the two because you have a lot of standard energy drinks out there, but if they don't actually taste good, I think they taste kind of generic. And those are the ones that are mass produced from these unknown companies, the private label companies, and they just mass produce this stuff for anybody. They could even mass produce them for you. If you took the time to market it and put your own label on it, you could have your own energy drink company, but it would be pretty generic. The standard energy drink flavor is what I usually refer to as companies that make their own energy drinks, such as Venom, who has their own original flavor, Blake Star, that has their own original classic flavor, and any other company that actually makes their energy drinks usually give you a pretty good standard energy drink flavor. So let's see what Blue Rebel is going to give you. 
So you grab them for my campus protein fridge. If you guys didn't know, if you're looking for pre-workout energy drinks or pre-workout supplements, be sure to check out campus protein. You can save 10% off your entire order using coupon code CAFFEINEMAN10. But if there's a different coupon code for even more savings, definitely feel free to use that. They usually have tons of different sales going on with a coupon code of TAKE20 or TAKE25 on like Celsius and other stuff. They always get some kind of sale going on. So use the link down below to go check out what sales they have. And here is the eight ounce can. It comes in an eight ounce can and a 12 ounce can. The eight ounce can is a blue can. The 12 ounce can, as you can see back there, is a black can. When I first opened these, I thought that one was sugar free and one was not. But as I inspected them closer to look at all the ingredients for the video, I noticed they both had sugar. They both had the same ingredients and apparently they just make different colors for, for different sizes. I'll be sure to taste them both out though. Even though they don't have the flavors listed on them, they're probably both original flavor, but you won't know until you try it out. Let's taste it out. There we go, we got your standard energy drink color. Hmm. Interesting. All right, so you're getting a medium to medium high carbonation out of there. As for the sweetness, you're definitely getting a high sweetness out of it. And for the flavor profile, I would say you're getting a medium to medium high flavor profile out of it. And for that flavor profile, it's not going the way of generic. I would say they're giving you your standard energy drink flavor and they did put a little bit of a Blue Rebel twist on it. And I think that's what's giving it. It's not generic flavor. It is giving you a little bit of quality to it. And I will see how that works in a couple of minutes because usually, Sometimes they taste good, but then after a few minutes you get this aftertaste. If that aftertaste lingers, then it starts to taste a little more generic. So we'll see how this goes. And of course, the only way I can explain it is by saying it's the standard energy drink flavor. But if you've tried out any of your standard energy drinks, you're gonna know what I'm talking about. And that's kind of what they're doing with this flavor. Oddly enough, and I was curious about this. Um, not sure how many of you are from the Connecticut area, but uh, the casino there, Mohegan Sun, when you ask them for an energy drink, they just bring you their generic energy drink. But I actually heard someone order a Red Bull once. I was like, what, they have Red Bull now? That's awesome. If you could get free Red Bull at the poker table, then I, my game would probably be a lot better than it is now. Or I would just go all in because I'd just be too hyper over an Ace King. But I ended up ordering the Red Bull and they didn't even correct me, but they brought the drink over and what they do is so that there's so many people, they'll write on there what the drink is if they can. So they gave me a cup and it had a lid on it and on the lid it said Rebel, R-E-B-E-L, the same name as this drink. It's all those tricky little devils. You order a Red Bull and if you give it to them, they're like, this isn't Red Bull. It's like, yeah, no, it says Rebel right on there. Like, no, I didn't want that. I wanted Red Bull. I, 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 that hasn't happened when I've been there. But trust me, I know some of the people at the poker tables and there's gotta be someone who probably complained about it. But who knows? I think Mohican Sun maybe was probably buying this flavor from the Dutch Brothers. In any case, let's go ahead. Let's taste out the black can to see if it tastes the same. Here's the black can. My best guess would be that's one of the Dutch brothers on there, but probably not. Why would only one of them be on the can? Doesn't seem fair. Yeah, it's pretty much the same drink. So where's it gonna be going on the Caffeine Man rating chart? If it was a generic flavor, it would probably be pretty low on the chart, but because it hit that standard mark, it means it's an okay drink and it's not going above and beyond. There are definitely some other originals out there that I like better than it. So I'm gonna give this a 7.4. If you're someone who likes standard energy drinks, you can definitely feel free to pick it up. But if I was on the West Coast, I'd probably try one of those other 40 delicious drinks. They look really, really good. And I'm sure they're probably using a lot of sweet syrup in there with lots of different flavors. I'm a flavor kind of guy. These originals, eh. So that is the review I have on Rebel. If you're at a Dutch Brothers, you wanna pick one up while you're there to try it. If you like standard energy drinks, you might like it. Isaac seems to like it. But if you're not into standard energy drinks, you'll know to bypass it and grab one of their other delicious drinks. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Until next time, have yourselves a great day. Or night.